you have a moment in practice where you kind of realized, oh, this is. Yeah, they move fast up here. Yeah, there's some fast dudes on this team, especially the receivers be moving a lot. So uh, we got a lot of fast guys, and I'm glad that we do because it's allowing me to get their transition easier, you know, having to see a fast and play at a game speed for sure. Uh, Coach Bay mentioned how it's been hard for the quarterbacks to get completions during training camp because how well the secondary has been playing. Just what are your impressions of the secondary? Uh, I think we wanted to. You know, one of the top uh, secondaries. Uh, I think that we have some guys in the room that show that they can do things at the highest level. And me, I'm honestly just blessed to be a part of this secondary because those guys have been doing things at the highest level. PJ, Caden, J. Sims, K. Jack. You know, everybody's been doing things at the high level for a long time. So I'm just blessed to be in that room for sure because it's a lot of vets and a lot of experience. Joe, about, about a week out, week out from the first preseason game, what are you hoping to show when you get out there for the first time? I'm just trying to go out there, you know, be the best teammate I can, do everything the correct way, and do everything that my teammates ask me to do. Where do you get that linebacker mentality from? You're a safety, but you play like a linebacker. Um, I just say, you know, it's just what this is the game. You know, it's a physical game. You have to go out there and have no fear. So I just say the the football in the aspects, or in a sense, to me, is the reason why I have that mindset. Because we're at the highest level with some big physical dudes up here. So you have to be physical and have to be ready for it for sure. You're trying to pick up obviously an NFL defense, but also special team schemes and all that. What's that sort of process been like getting up to speed and? Trying to make a difference on special teams. Oh, it's been great. You know, I love special teams. I love being doing anything I can to be the best teammate for the guys. So I've just been investing in that as much as I invest on defense, just trying to grow as a player on defense and a special team. So it's been good for me so far. Uh, growing up, were there certain um, players or safeties that you looked up to or wanted to mold your game after? The only one I really watched was Cam Chancellor. You know, I just really watched him bam bam a lot. So uh, I was really one of my favorite guys growing up. I didn't watch too much NFL throughout my whole life. I was kind of like a basketball guy at first, but I did watch Cam Chancellor a lot growing up. When did you? When did it switch from basketball to football player? Uh, when I, my coach cut me from the basketball team <laughs> for football, because he was like, "Man, you gotta, you know, you have a shot at football." So he he just did that for me and kicked me off the team. Basically, told me I can't play no more. But it worked out in the long run. I was mad that day, but yeah, I appreciate it for him now. When, when was that? When was that? Yeah. Uh, that was my junior year. Junior year of high school, he didn't let me play no more. You yeah. said you're too good at football. You gotta. Go yeah, he basically <laughs> said, "Man, you just focus on football and you know, leave basketball alone. Go perfect your craft on the all season plan, doing football and doing drills like that." So yes, sir. Well, as a basketball guy, who's the GOAT, LeBron or Jordan? Uh, I'm going to say LeBron, me personally. I'm going to say LeBron, me personally. I, I didn't watch Jordan growing up. I watched LeBron, so that's the guy that I saw playing a lot more. Uh, the things that he's done in the court, I'm just a LeBron fan or in that aspect, so that's just for me. Chris Mannert's obviously played college basketball. Who wins in a game of one-on-one? Sure. I don't know, probably him. I ain't hooped like that in a long time. So probably him. I'll give it to him. We played college basketball. That was not for me. I was on the football field. So yeah, he'll probably get me for sure.